Hello everybody, my name is Omer Reingold and together with my colleagues we are launching the Simons Foundation collaboration on the theory of algorithmic fairness. What do algorithms and fairness have to do with each other? It sounds like they come from different worlds. Well, for that we need to talk about algorithmic decision making. From news article recommendations to criminal sentencing decisions to healthcare diagnostics, machine learning and data analysis are reaching ever more deeply into our lives. making or informing important decisions about individuals. This progress, however, raises a host of concerns regarding the societal impact of computation. A prominent concern is that these algorithms should be fair. But wait, aren't algorithms unbiased by definition? Won't computational machines be fair by their inherent objectivity? Shouldn't we just let machine learning do its thing and we'll be fine? Unfortunately, algorithms are no more free from bias than their creators. Through historic data, feature selection, and other design choices, algorithms can propagate and even amplify existing biases within our society. But aren't there other fields that already worry about fairness? Yes, the study of fairness is ancient and multidisciplinary. Philosophers, legal experts, economists, statisticians, social scientists, and other scholars have been concerned with fairness for as long as their fields have existed. So why not let all of these people solve algorithmic fairness for you? I wish it was that simple, but the scale of impact in the age of big data, the computational complexities of algorithmic decision making, and simple professional responsibility mandate that computer scientists contribute to this research endeavor in its core. But you are all theoreticians. What can you do? We are following the example set by the revolutionary role of theory in other computational fields like cryptography. Our project aims to establish firm mathematical foundations through the lens of computer science theory for the emerging area of algorithmic fairness. Can you try it again, but with less pathos this time? We want to study basic frameworks that address discrimination concerns, develop definitions, and algorithms that can comply with these definitions. Ah, so you are going to provide the ultimate definition of a fair algorithm and find ways to force algorithms to be fair. Not exactly. There is no single definition of fairness. Algorithmic discrimination is subtle, and it depends on context and societal norms. So what are definitions good for, anyway? Definitions are critical. While we can't have a single definition, we should expose an entire landscape of definitions and frameworks, understand the relations, and ways to materialize them. Theory definitions give a language which is as important as any other language for a societal discourse about fairness. Definitions help bridge normative aspirations and computational realities. They expose inherent impossibilities and provide new trade-offs not possible otherwise. We are not trying to bypass the role of society, but rather to facilitate it by reaching a clearer and more widely accepted understanding of algorithmic fairness. Any specific objectives in mind? We want to strengthen the impact the theory already has by addressing a growing and complex set of fairness concerns in computations, such as faulty data, strategic and adversarial parties, complex computational artifacts, multiple components, and fairness in dynamically evolving systems. For that, we will spark conversations and promote collaboration with other fields. I think that I understand what you want to do, but aren't there better goals for theoreticians to spend their time on? Addressing wrongful discrimination by algorithms is not only mandated by law and by ethics, but it is essential to maintaining the public trust in the current computation-driven revolution. Algorithmic fairness is also filled with exciting and beautiful mathematical challenges, and its research is already providing insight for other mathematical areas of research, like good theory often does.